Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do a vlog on how I DoorDash and how I make money in my little town. This is my little wallet. We are starting off with Monday and I have just a $10 bill in here. It's all I got, nothing more. Um, this is what we're gonna get gas with, so let's get to it. So this is the gas that we're starting with. Let's go. All right, you guys. So I am sitting in the parking lot of a McDonald's while we wait for some orders. I am hoping, fingers crossed, to make at least 30 or 40 bucks today. It's a Monday. Everybody is going back to school. Everybody's gone back to work. Hopefully there are some people out there who are like, you know what? I really just don't want to cook. Um, it's almost lunchtime, so if you are new to gig working, you're doing DoorDash, you're doing Uber Eats, um, make sure that you know when your prime time is to go out for uh, dinner rush as well. Um, so that way you're, you're making the most out of your time because your time and your gas is money. So you just, you gotta, you gotta start learning the algorithm of your area. Um, but I'm hoping to get an order. Um, I will be back when I get one. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so freaking slow. What is going on, folks? Like, I know you're poor. I'm poor too. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm out here. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a crazy day. I'm, I was not ready for this. I was not ready for it. Oh, I've been here for like 15 minutes. I got nothing, nothing. I'm not going to give up yet. Nope, not going to give up. But we got nothing. We made $0 so far. We haven't used any gas though. I'm not driving around. If you're driving around wasting your gas, trying to get an order, thinking that the algorithm's going to pick up where you are, nah. Mm, no, nah. I've tried it all in the last five years and I can tell you right now, no, <laughs> that's not happening. So hopefully we get something soon. Otherwise today is going to be a bust. All right, you guys, we got our very first order of the day. It is a Taco Bell order. Yep. It kind of sucks because I only have two hands, right? So, let's bring it on up. So, if you are finding that it's slow in your area, guys, it's slow for me too. It's slow. It is what it is. I don't know if it's just because the economy is still kind of getting rocked or, or what. Probably. Alright. So, of course, somebody's trying to call me because I'm dropping this off. That's it. 
All right, you guys, so my second order was a very low tip order, but it is McDonald's, so we are going to get to it. I don't mind taking low pay orders as long as they are not far. I'm not going to be taking a three or a four dollar order, seven, eight, nine miles. That's crazy pants. Not worth it. If it is, if it is slow in your area, you guys, it is okay to just say, hey, I'm going to take a little pause until the next rush time comes because they, they come and go all day, right? Um, if lunch rush doesn't work for you, don't give up. Go back out during dinner rush. Get it going. Get out there about 3.30, 4 o'clock and try your best to start again. A lot of times people fail at this job because they think it is so easy. All you do is pick up food, bring it to somebody's door. You don't have to get out of your car. There's not a lot of walking. It, it's a lie. It's a lie. There's a lot of walking in this job. Back again, second order at McDonald's. I am noticing that people are starting to order a little bit more. Um, if it was to stay that slow, you guys, I would have probably just went home for a little bit. Um, I am noticing that the order is not ready. So, oh, now it's ready. Let's pick it up and let's roll. As I am going out the door, I don't know if you guys could hear the sound here in a second, but I start to get another order, a double order. Yep, there it is. Yep, I grabbed that second order, so we are going to put this in the back of the car, and we are going to go back in, and we are going to go grab the other order. Here we go, second bag has been picked up. We are ready to go. Um, I totally forgot to grab my McDonald's punch card from the car. I probably should grab it for future um, punches. In my area, McDonald's is a franchise and they will give you a free large meal after 10 DoorDash deliveries, Uber Eats deliveries. Um, I don't eat McDonald's, but my kids do. Those two orders were a hand to me. It was at the high school. Very low tips, but it's to be expected. They're kids. So I just got a first shop of the day. We are headed into Safeway, which, as you can see, that's where we're at. We have no need for a cart because we have just a single item on this order which is really exciting so got my big lady purse here and we're gonna go grab that item slim pickings slim pickings so they didn't actually have the item that the person was looking for but this is the closest I could get it has an egg roll I already contacted the customer they said that that was okay. Um, a nice young guy who works here at Safeway just told me that this will probably fill him up a little bit more. So, awesome. We're ready to go. Let's go cash out. All right, you guys, we got our order. We're ready to go deliver it. He was really super understanding that he had to get a different meal. But this is actually a really good paying order, you guys. I'm going to disclose this. This is over $9 for me to drive this to this person's work. So I appreciate you, whoever ordered this. <laughs> I really do. Um, I definitely need it because we're going to definitely try to get to that $30, $40 goal. I don't know if you guys can hear my keys jingling on my big lady purse, but I don't have any pockets. So I'll see you guys in the car. I forgot to point out that this is a double order, so we are headed into McDonald's. 
This is probably my number one pickup. Not ready yet. So we are going to just sit. We can sit on this. We'll know when it's ready. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got our order and we are out the door and I'm feeling pretty pumped right now because it's, it's actually really picking up. So this order really did change my my mentality for the day. All it takes for me, you guys, is one really good order to really get me hyped into continuing on with the day. All right, we got our orders. We are gonna deliver them. It's a hand to me inside of a bank. So I'm excited. I'm going down this hill. I'm gonna try not to trip down the hill because that would be really bad. By the way, I hate it when people park like jerks. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. If I can get a, a good view. Oh, never mind. I think that the guy who parked like a jerk and half of his back end of his truck is uh, getting in his car. He's getting in his car. All right, you guys, so it totally died. It died, so I've got lunch in here for a special certain somebody that we're going to bring it into. Don't worry, don't worry. I also brought my emotional support coffee. Yep, we're going, going in. Having lunch with this guy over here because it got slow. This hobo from the street corner. Yeah, I, I think you're gonna let me borrow the the box truck, right? Oh yeah. So do a little dash. <laughs> right on, huh? Think what? of how many how many um, how many deliveries you could fit in the box. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. I don't want to turn with that thing. So this. It's really, it's really not that bad. Just take a truck and. Make it bigger. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you have? You have spaghetti, banana. I got a salad. Meal prepping. And I got a uh, yogurt and a string cheese, and and of course my emotional support coffee, because you know, and Jordan has his rainbow water. These little packets are lifesaver. I love them so much. What's your favorite flavor? Um, I really dig the peach tea one. I ran out of those because I was drinking only the peach tea ones. <laughs> so, kind oh. of SOL there. Right. So, Alright guys, we're going to eat our lunch and I'll be back with uh, hopefully our next dash. It is really hot and everybody is starting to want ice cream. I know it's fall, but... Well, technically not really, but close enough. Um, I am now just going to pick up a order but this place is totally packed absolutely packed so let's see if we can get our order got our order it's only one breakfast sandwich so we're good to go all right, so this order is a hand to me, but I'm hoping to speed this video up a little bit. Let's get some orders done. So let me go hand this to this gal and I'll see you in the next clip. All right, you guys, let's really get our hustle on. Let's go.
everybody i'm back at the house i'm back at the sanctuary where we are gonna divvy up this money and you guys can see how we're gonna start off the next day so today my goal was 30 to 40 bucks i put 10 dollars in gas i had i think 89 or 98 miles um to drive today with that 10 dollars which is a little over three gallons of gas and uh, I have 40 miles left on my reading in my car so I didn't really do as much driving as I anticipate as I anticipated today can't even talk um, so we did pretty good I did get a few cash tips um, mostly just dollars as you can see here but let's go ahead and count what we got for today. I'm pretty proud of this considering I did DoorDash in my tiny little town of 7,000 or less people. I feel like this is pretty good. Um, ultimately, you guys, I did only work for four and a half hours. So not bad, not bad. Um, I am currently working on Etsy orders for my Etsy shop as well tonight. Um, I have a lot of them prepackaged. Um, I tried to go um, in between slow times to the post office, but man, they were jam packed busy today. I think it's just because it's Monday. I don't know. So, what did we make today? We have 20, 40, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So, we have $59 here. That's crazy good, you guys. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff the money that I want to keep in Monday uh, for Monday's goal, which was $40, which we're going to go ahead and put $45 into that, okay? And then I'm going to then in return for Tuesday put $10 into Tuesday. If I don't use it on Tuesday, that's okay. I will revolve it into Wednesday um, and see how it goes. It, it, Tuesdays are pretty hit or miss for me along with Wednesdays. They, it just really depends on what's going on in the area. Um, so that means that we have $4 here that I am going to roll over into my most special bank that my husband got and that's my hello kitty i've been trying to add to this every single day i found out i don't get cash tips at my regular job um, i do work for a very specific type of job you guys um, so i have to be really super careful um, I am watched on video. Obviously, I'm not going to steal nothing, um, but I don't want to have anybody assume that I'm taking tips. Tips are all gathered together at my um, hourly job and put into a bank. And at the end of the day, they siphon the bank out, divide it um, by however many people who are working um, through their machine, and then they will add it to your check at the end of the two week period okay but this is cash tips that i got doing doordash so i'm excited about that you guys it has been a minute since i've gotten a cash tip doing doordash i normally do uber lyft but because of the circumstances my husband was at work today as you guys saw we had lunch together um we didn't go into the city there is no uber or lyft in my area Okay, out of the zone. I can have somebody drop me off here, but getting an Uber or a Lyft to be picked up here is gonna be a, a, a pain in the neck, um, if not impossible. Just because I believe that myself and only one other person uh, does Uber Lyft here. So I'm happy we got to add some money to uh, Miss Hello Kitty. So we're gonna put that aside. So we didn't do terrible. We, we did a little over our goal. We got our $10 for um, tomorrow, which is exciting. I honestly am hoping that tomorrow is a much better day. 
I'm not going to be vlogging every single day, obviously. I was just kind of showing you guys the hustle and the bustle of all the things that I do in a day. And really, that was a very short day. I mean, mind you, in the summertime or when it's been busy or, you know, in past, you know, DoorDash, Uber, Lyft, Instacart, um, Grubhub, all the things, um, all the gig work apps, it's not the same as it used to be. So I'm hoping that this helps out a lot. Um, every single dollar counts because you can only do what you can with what you got. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I better go pick up, better go pick up my husband. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Bye guys.